Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. My name is Jen from the Cardamancer, and we are here to do our weekly readings. Um, so I'm looking at myself in the camera, and I'm looking like I look really tired. <laughs> So this weekend was so crazy. I was at the Vampire Ball um, in Salem and all weekend. So there's there's a like a party on Friday night and then there's one on Saturday. There's stuff going on Sunday. So we got home late, last night and yeah, it's late nights and whatnot. And I'm, I'm kind of tired. Like my, my, I feel like my eyes look puffy. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and we'll get started here in a minute. I'm gonna read uh, Oracle card. I'm gonna we're gonna play with the angels tonight. We're gonna use Vix Maxwell's uh, Angels Among Us, and then the Vampire Tarot because I just got back from my Vampire Weekend, so I figured that was a fitting one to go and do. So we are, oh my gosh, so this month is over. I'm looking at my calendar and I didn't switch it. And I'm like, wait a minute. So the autumn issue um, of the magazine is out now. There are some print copies in the shop. Um, if you just follow the link in the bio. And then also if you want to get an easing, then that is something you can do as well. And you can also get those on some past issues. Um, Newt's is coming up this week, so I just got back from Salem, and on Thursday, I'm headed to Portland, Oregon for Newt's. So, this is the one last. I have been in a different state pretty much every weekend since the first week of September. <laughs> like, everything has, like, things that were rescheduled and events, everything has been packed into these, like, this month and a half. So, um, actually I'm lying. The end of the, um, on the 19th, I have to go to Nashville and move my son into school. So it's something, but so we have newts coming up. We also have, um, Terra Palooza, which that's an online event. And that is, um, that is on the 15th. So go to terrapalooza.com and um you can go ahead and buy tickets for that there's a lot they got ellie we got sasha um we got all sorts of people some really great people so what i will do um is just go ahead and pull a sign a card for each sign and go from there and if anyone hops on they hop on if not then you can watch this and your convenience because I also need to finish getting my presentation ready for news. That's what I need to do. All right, folks, let's see. So first up, we have Aries. So Aries, we have the Four of Knives. So I really think for you, it's about um, kind of paying attention to all sides of a situation. So I feel like there's a lot of situations maybe happening or, you know, we are just coming out of Mercury retrograde. So we're kind of in that shadowy period. So I do feel like it's that time to kind of look around, see what's happening, what situations still need to be cleared up, Aries. And I think that would be um, really what your focus should be for this week. So hello, hello. Um, so the angel card we're going to pull. Well, hello. Why, thank you so much. Thank you. So we are using, um, Vix's Angels Among Us. And I love, for Aries, we got Baba Yaga. I love Baba Yaga. So it's the wise and wild woman. And let's see what it says. Let's see what the message is in here. So... Hey, okay. Reclaim your divine power. Work with both shadow and light. Follow your own wild and wonderful path. So I love that. I love that really kind of goes along with, all right, you know, 
really kind of stand in your truth and look around the situations, Aries, see what needs to be kind of tidied up. See, you know, see how your base is looking. See if there's things that you need to kind of tighten up, especially after this retrograde period. So I'm usually not somebody that's like, oh my God, it's retrograde, blah, we're all going to go crazy, right? Um, you know, for me, it's kind of, you know, I always say like the three R's, rest, restore, rejuvenate. And, um, but this, this one has been really a doozy, <laughs> I have to say. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't usually like get into it, but wow. The last couple of weeks have been a little bit, uh, a little funkalicious here. Not always in a great way. All right. So Taurus, what do we got for you? Taurus, we got the daughter of grails. So grails, um, it's cups. So, um, you know, I think with this one too, um, for you, Taurus is really, um, taking a look at how you are emotionally. Um, how, like, what is your emotional compass at this point? How is it looking? What is, you know, what emotions are driving you right now? And see if it's resonating. See if that's what's really working for you. Because, um, you know, Taurus, you tend to get stuck in your habits. And, you know, it's sometimes it's not always great habits, right? And then sometimes it is good habits. So I think for you, Taurus, it's really about just taking a peek at how everything is sitting for you. And then emotionally and seeing what you could do to make it better for yourself. So let's see what... Angel will guide you. Oh, we got the goddess Kuan Yin. I love these cards. I love how they're like the modern look. So it's kindness, compassion. Um, so I think, again, that it kind of goes right along with that, that um, daughter of Grails is having compassion for yourself and giving yourself that extra self-care, Taurus. So we're going with that. I like that. All right, Gemini. All right, Gemini. So we have the Ace of Scepters. So Ace of Wands. So Gemini, what, what new thing are you starting? Like, what do you need to ignite this week? Um, you may have had, you know, kind of a couple irons in the fire, you know, a couple things cooking up, but now it's time to take one out and really get moving with it. So whichever one pops in your head, as I'm even saying this, that's the one you have to go with. So it's time to really start some new action. And I do, like I said, I feel like it's on a situation that's already kind of started, but it's time to kick it up into high gear. And that brings us, we have, we have Archangel Sandalfin. Ooh. And his is uh, Answered Prayers Music. So, um, you know, I think by taking that action, Gemini, that's also going to be answering some questions and answering uh, and getting you to some goals that you have been really wanting to get to. So I think that's really why that's like that reminder. This is the angel is really just saying like, yeah, this is what you need to do. This is the direction you need to go to. We are, you are being guided in this way for a reason, for a reason. So I'm, I'm usually not going, to, I'm just kind of zipping through here today. So next we have, what do we have a Cancer is next? So we have three of knives. So Cancer, it's time for you to really depart a situation. That's the first thing that popped in my head when I saw this card. It's time to leave a situation. So there might be a situation and it could be regarding really anything, but it's time for you to just walk away from it. It's not serving you. You don't need it. It's not helping you. It's not going anywhere. It's stagnant situation at this point, Cancer. And it's time for you to walk away from it and really start to kind of detach. It's important to do that. I feel like detaching um, for you, Cancer, is like the word right now. Like it's just time. It's done. It is done, Cancer. So then we have the Archangel Raphael. So this has to do with healing. 
So he, this archangel, he has a lot, he, you know, he helps heal. So I feel like by, you know, yeah, it, again, you're being guided and you will have some help healing uh, from spirit, from whatever you believe in. So cancers, you can do this. All right, Leos. All right, Leos. And if you'd like me to pull a card for you, I can certainly do that. Just let me know. All right, Leo. So for Leo, we have the Six of Scepters. So Six of Wands. Um, I really think for you, Leos, um, you know, it, it's about that moving energy. I feel that it's time for you to really um, harness the moving energy, harness who you are. I feel like that that Leo, let that Leo come out. And, you know, Leos can be very, very loving, but they can be very straightforward when they have to be. So whichever part of that Leoness needs to come out for you, that's what I really think. But it's all about keeping that energy moving. So we get for you, we have Mel, Melch's a deck, spiritual development, law of attraction, studying. So I think for you too is again, um, you know, what is it that you want to call in, right? We're moving forward. We want to move forward, but by doing that, you need to be vocal as well so that the universe knows exactly what you want, right? And that's tapping into that law of attraction, um, situation. So it's very, very interesting. And it's very important for that, for you to do that. Um, really vocally call out what you want. Um, <laughs> I'm a Libra too. My birthday was last week. We're getting there. We're getting Libra. All right. So we're up to Virgo. See, we're getting there. All right. Virgos. We got the daughter of knives. So I feel like for you, Virgos, it's really time for you to start. Oh, mine's the 27th. So happy birthday, 27th. Oh, that's awesome. Yay, Libra. <laughs> I love that. Yay. Um, it, why is it always so exciting when somebody's birthday is like right near yours, right? I love it. it, it it's like you're in like this little special birthday club. Well, I hope you had an awesome birthday. My son's birthday is tomorrow. He's like a week, exactly a week after mine. And he's a Libra too. So um, we have Daughter of Knives. Yes, I know. We should go have a party. I'll come visit you. I want to go, I want to go down by you and visit you. Um, so where am I? Oh yeah, Daughter of Knives for Virgo. So I really do feel like this has to do with something like spoken like what are you speaking what are you putting out what is it that you know maybe you've been holding back I feel like Virgo you've been holding back on something because it's been convenient to not say anything because it kind of keeps the peace but it's it's not time for that anymore like you need to stop with that and it's time for you to really speak your mind um and even though this is like the daughter of nine knives I almost feel like is like kind of that queen is next you know what I mean like you're getting there like start taking the steps to get to that queen of swords so you could say what you mean and mean what you say and not worry about everybody else and what's going on around you um as far as you know worrying about not being able to say what you want because you're worried about everybody else's feelings where go so let's see what oracle card we got. We got Archangel Razio. So this has to do with secrets and mysteries. So maybe there are some secret, you know, secrets that need to be revealed. And maybe that's why you haven't been speaking your truth because you're not, you're worried about what everybody else is going to say. But I feel like here it's just like, for some reason, his shirt is really poking out for me. So I really think, you know, Virgo, pay attention to this, like that color scheme. And, you know, when that starts popping up for you, then it's almost like your indicator that like, yeah, it's time. It's time to say what I have to say. So now we are at Libras. All right, Libras, what do we got for us? 
Whoop, we had a jumper. So we're going to go with that. I love this. We got strength. So I feel though, for Libra, is this for you is like your strength is going to be tested. And this card is here to remind you. And it wants you, it wants it in your head to let you know that you're strong and to remember that. So anything that comes up for you in this week, remember, I'm strong. I can do this. I got this. So Libras, remember, you are strong. Let's see what angel we have. Angel Gabriel. So creativity, self-expression. So maybe Libras, you're starting, maybe you're starting a creative endeavor or you've been thinking about it. And I really think that it's important for you to, um, you know, harness that creative energy so that you can really, um, you know, lean and lean into your strength so that you can move, you know, get, you know, get you done. That's really it. Good morning. Hello, hello. We're just kind of like zipping through today. So Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Whoa. I almost threw all these cards. All over the place. I feel like my, I right? Hair gets done tomorrow. So it is just, we're just, it just went up today. <laughs> it just went up. But I feel like I look really tired. I'm t I am tired though. It's a lot of late nights this weekend. All right. So we had a jumper. So we're going to do that. We're going to do, we have the Queen of Grails. So Queen of Cups, Scorpio. Look at that snake. Ooh. This filter is kind of weird. I know. I don't, I don't know either. Like I have a, like I have an idea, but I'm like, I don't really know. And tomorrow's Justin's birthday. So I have to like, and I go later than I usually do. So I, and she's not available Wednesday. Like there's so much, there's so much. I just can't, I have so much going on. It's stupid. It is. So Scorpio, queen of grails, you know what Scorpio for me, this is self care. I feel like this week you need to take some time for yourself and do something nice for yourself. And you know, that may be telling, saying no, and being like, you know, telling people no that you can't do stuff. Like you got, you got to just have some self-care, Scorpio. It's time. That's it. Hello, Christine. Oh, actually, you know what? Did you want me to pull a card for you? Pam? Can I ask the card for news? Okay. All right. Let's pull a card for you. Hey, Christine. I get to see you in a couple of days. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. All right, so we got the Queen of Skulls, Pam. So that is pentacles. So I love that. So Pam, you're in work mode. It's happening and you will be able to make some really great connections. And I think that it will be a very successful trip for you. All right. I accept that for you. I like it. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. I know. I have to pack. Did you guys see somebody posted it's going to be in the 80s? And it's just confusing my brain because it's like, I don't even know what it is right now. It's probably like 40 degrees right now here. It's cold. I mean, it's definitely, I guess it's October in upstate New York. So yeah, it's going to be cold. But it's like saying it's 80s and it's like not it like my I, I can't adjust because like I feel like I'm going to go there and it's going to be like a lie. And then and then um, I don't know. I'll be fine. I don't know. I guess the problem is, is that I it's I have so much stuff to bring and like just like presentation stuff. And it's I don't know. I'm already worried about my my packing. I'm going to be over my 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> see I know I need Pam to teach me how to pack Pam can pack like three weeks of clothes in a in, a, in like a tote bag <sighs> I need you need to teach me your ways Pam see I think half of my bag is my bathroom stuff I have a lot of bathroom stuff I don't know why Pam's seen all my bathroom stuff <laughs> too much all right next we have Sagittarius 
Jeez, this daughter of knives, like she is just, I know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just have, Jay's just going to be allowed to pack like one shirt and one pants so I can put all my stuff in his bag. <laughs> so we got this daughter of knives again. Is, no, I got the other flosser. So it is, it's more compact now. I did get that other one. All right. So Sagittarius, daughter of knives. So for, for you, Sagittarius, it's a little bit different. I do, I do think that, you know, for you, it really has to do with um, cutting through situations. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Oh, I drink it every morning. Um, I I do think it's a, for you. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on for you, Sagittarius, and I, and you know you like to stay busy. But I do feel like there's some like ties that you have to cut. I feel like there's some stuff kind of holding you back from getting done what you need to get done. So looking at, and I, and I almost again feel like whatever I'm saying, like what, whatever's popping in your head as I'm saying this, I do feel like that's what it is. So whatever those things, those situations, it could be people, things, whatever popping in your head right now, what ties you need to cut Sagittarius? It's time telling you it's time so we have see dimphina 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 <laughs> wow that took me a minute i told you i'm tired guys i was playing vampire all weekend um and this has to do with well-being and mental health so i love that this came up for you sagittarius because like i said it's time to cut some ties and you're doing it for your mental health so this is that reminder Perfect. If you want me to pull a card for you, let me know. All right. So Capricorns. All right, Capricorns. Our CEOs of the Zodiac. What do we have? What do we have for you? Let's do the Hierophant. Ooh, I love that. So for you, Capricorn, um, I think it's really about making sure that you take advice from others. Um, and yes, I, I got them in Salem. Aren't they cute? Wait, I'm trying to get a hold of them. Look, isn't that so cute? Um, so I really think, um, we're, oh, the hair font for Capricorn. Yes. I feel like this is kind of the card telling you that you don't, you don't know everything, right? You can, you can be boss all the time. But you have to take some advice from others sometimes. And I feel like that you're getting some advice this week that you don't really want to take, but you probably should at least hear them out first. Okay, Capricorn? Hear them out first. Even if you don't take the full advice, just listen to it because you feel like it's going to be useful for you at some point in the future. And you're getting St. Francis, all about service, activism, and animal communication. So, I don't know, Pam, maybe your chicken's got a message for you. There is going to be, again, I, I feel like there is a message in, you know, maybe maybe you have um, an animal that's been popping up for you a lot. Um, oh my gosh, oh no, you're totally fine. I totally got what you were saying. You're good. Um, I feel like that for you, Capricorn, like maybe an animal is going to be popping up a lot for you. Um, like you might be seeing it online. You might be, you know, maybe it's a bird or a squirrels or something. Look up whatever animal that is, because I feel like there's another message in it for you. Which that's always fun. All right. So Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what we got for you. We have the Five of Knives. I'm just looking at this card. Ooh, this is a very, like, interesting card. It's a little dark, but that is some crazy-looking vampire with the wings. Like, and the wings, like, go to, like, oh, no, they have some, like, thing on their back. And it looks like an Aquarius sign, which we're talking about Aquarius. Wait a minute. I was like, wait, who are we talking about? I don't know if you could see it because it's so dark. But it's like right above their butt cheeks is right there is an Aquarius sign. So I think that's really kind of cool. 
So Aquarius, I think for you, it's just not being afraid to take some time to rest. And I feel like more of a mental rest for you than just like a physical rest. Like what is, what activity can do you do that is just like, either you're so hyper-focused on it that you don't think of anything else, or what is it that gets you to that state? Um, like maybe like coloring, like, so you're just not thinking about anything or maybe driving, um, reading. I feel like for you, it's really time for you to find whatever it is that brings you that mental break, um, and, and taking it. I think that's really important for you. So we got Merlin. That's about magic, alchemy, and manifestation. So maybe you really need that mental break so that you can come back and really start calling in what you want in your life. I do feel that, that you won't be able to achieve that until you really kind of take a minute. So that's my advice for you, Aquarius. So then that brings us to Capricorn. Nope, I'm completely lying. That brings us to Pisces. Sorry, don't mean to lie. All right, Pisces, we have the hermit for you. So Pisces, I feel that, you know what? It's time for you to just really, you know, and it's kind of funny because Aquarius is kind of the same, but for you, for you, um, Pisces, um, I think it's just time for you really to get into your spaces. Get into your cozy spaces, taking that time away from everything because there's been so much going on. And I feel like for you, maybe the retrograde had just been a little bit extra. And I think you're just feeling all of the things. And, you know, sometimes that could be overwhelming. So if you need to retreat and you need to take that time to regroup, Pisces, that's what you need you know, do that. Because if your body's telling you and your your whole self is telling you you need to do that, then you need to do that. So we got Archangel Ariel. And this is guardian of the earth and um, abundance. So maybe for you too, some grounding is really important. Um, maybe that's something that you need to just kind of come back to your base and like fluff it up. That's what it's like. That's what I'm thinking in my head, like pillows around you. Like you just need to kind of fluff up your base and really, you know, feel it and sink into it and um, let it restore you. So yeah, that was we went we went through pretty quick today. If you want me to pull a card for you, now would be the time. So next week I will not be here next week. I will be on my way back home from Portland, so I will be on a plane at this time. So um, the week after that, I will see you, um, and I will be posting some stuff from Newt's so that everybody can see what's going on, um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate you. Make sure to check out the link in our bio um, for all the stuff going on if you'd like to get a copy of the magazine and you can get a print issue and you can also get um, a digital issue. So that is an option as well. And when you get you buy that digital issue, it goes right to you. Boom, done. Whoops, now I'm throwing cards on the floor. All right, well, everybody have a fantastic week ahead and I will see you soon. Bye.